Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my where I keep my towels. You've heard me talk about this in a few other videos, but I really need to... I'm sorry, mama. I never meant to hurt you. I never meant to make you cry, but today I'm cleaning out my closet. I'm sorry, I'm gonna... I'm, I'm, that's who I'm sorry to. I'm sure most of us are all in the same boat. The clothes that I have in this closet haven't been reevaluated or assessed in almost a year and a half now. I've had like a handful of times that I had to actually get dressed and like go out and meet people, like honestly five times in the past year and a half. And um, each time has sent me into a spiral because I don't know, there's nothing that fits me in this closet. Whether that be fits me size wise or fits my personality. A lot of this stuff I'm like, where would I wear this to? What I do for work is different. What I wear on an everyday basis is different. What I fit into is different and I have this toxic thing that I'm sure everyone feels is like I'll always be like oh I can't get rid of that because I will lose the weight to fit back into it I'm gonna start working out I'm gonna fit into it and reality is I'm not gonna start working out <laughs> I'm over like this is this is my closet and I don't fit into anything and I don't want to wear anything in it so what my plan is is I'm gonna try on everything I own and I'm gonna look myself in the mirror and see how it makes me feel I'm like would I wear this it also should be stated that I am the anti-hoarder. I love getting rid of stuff, like I love it. Okay, let's get to trying on because this is gonna be a huge. <sighs> Not only is it gonna take a long time, my room is gonna be a mess after this, so that's something I need to take account for. I'm literally in my pajamas still, but we're gonna start with dresses. I haven't worn a dress like since my back baptism, okay. Oh my God, you guys. I have no idea how this works anymore. Like, I have no idea, and nor do I care, because where are we going? <laughs> this is a little American apparel dress, like when it, you know, American apparel was the vibe. And I haven't worn this since literally university, thank God. <laughs> this neckline is like super awkward on me, like the back's cute, but this ain't cute. So, this is a no. No. Whole and ugly. No. Where am No. Okay. This is an obvious no, but I have been known to wear this open, tied like this from my waist and open. And I remember when I worked in an office, this was really handy to like wear over tank tops and stuff like that. This is going in the maybe pile. This is like a floor length maxi dress. Get it? <laughs> I feel like this could be a good piece to like style, you know? We're gonna put this in a maybe pile. <laughs> no. I used to love this dress. I wore it to a few work events, but it's just not really like, doing much for us. This is a no. This one I already know is a yes. This is like one of the only dresses I wear in the summer. It has this like attached piece that I like because it just can cinch my waist and also gives me extra layers around my butt. This is a yes. I've worn this as a beach cover up since 2011. And <laughs> um, <laughs> this is from Sirens, if you guys remember that store. It's ugly. But this is all you need when you're like at someone's cottage and you just need to throw on something, you know? When am I at someone's cottage? I need more friends with cottages. You guys, I'm gonna keep this. I know it's not a good call, but I'm I'm manifesting a boat of um, hot girl summer. This is another, I'm too lazy to do it up. Like a shirt dress that is way too short for me, so I wear it open, but I like the black one better than this brown, so this is gonna be a giveaway. <laughs> like. Look at this on me. <laughs> I think this should be an obvious no, but let me struggle with it a little bit more because it's cute. <gasps> okay. <laughs> this is very much Skims vibes. My sister got this for me and I've loved it, but it just doesn't, I don't think it fits my body anymore. Like it fits like a glove, but I'm out of breath if you can't hear. You know what? I'm still going to keep it. I think it's cute and I don't really have anything this color. So this is stain. I've never worn this, and you can probably tell by the style of a skater skirt how long ago I bought this. I bought this in 2015. <laughs> I've never worn it. I would never want to wear something this short and flowy in the city. Like, maybe if I had somewhere to go, where would I go? It's cute, but I would never wear it. I haven't worn it for six years, so it's going. This is a keep. I just got this um, in the winter time, so obviously I haven't had a chance to wear it yet. Keep. Free people. 70% off. Thank you, Mommy, for buying this for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, this is a yes. I wear this all the time in the summer. Um, so this is a yes. 
Can you guys tell I'm already sick of this and I'm through not even 1%? Okay, let me just put this over top. Uh, it's like, a, it's supposed to be a dress, but it doesn't fit over my hips anymore. So this is a no. Also, this color is not for me. Huh. So we have a predicament. These two are old raggedy swimsuit cover-ups. The classic Brandy Melville dress that everyone had. So now I have to figure out which one I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this one. Goodbye, old handkerchief little thing that I never wear. This is definitely a yes. This is like my dream dress. It's from Zara, so basic, but like so cute for the summer. This is a yes. This is the uh, dress I wore in my pretend like I'm going clubbing and I decided I would never wear this. So this is gonna be sold. And this is the same vibe, just a short tight dress with a really low v-neck that it's not my style. So giving that away too. This is a yes. It's really comfortable and I found myself wearing it a lot last summer, so I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, this is a similar style to the other one that I love, but now it's like I should pick, I can't have two, gray or pink. I think gray, it's more, th it's thicker, and this has a little, I don't know if I love this, but this has a little detail here. Oh no, but I love this dress. You know what, I'm giving myself, I'm letting myself keep both, because I wear these all the time. <laughs> Don't tell, don't, I don't know, don't tell me. And then I have this, and a lot of the things I have were like office wear. <laughs> like when am I gonna work in an office again? Hopefully never. Ew, it paired, well I guess this paired would be like a good office appropriate outfit, it has a tie. And no, I'm getting, this is, this over top is a no. I'm not like a business casual girl anymore. <laughs> this is the last dress, and this one is like really hard for me because this was one of my favorite dresses for a long time. It's the classic like Brandy Melville. But it is, I can't wear this out, my ass is out. Oh man, I love this dress, but like I can't wear it out. I do wear it at home a lot, but I think it's time to get rid of it. Okay, the last two things are these two jackets. I hate that term, we're just gonna call them whatever. I love this jacket, so keeping this. This one too, I like. It's the same thing, but like fuzzy material. So I'm gonna keep both of these, but. I bought this like two years ago from Walmart and I thought it would be a cool enough person to be able to like rock something like this. I'm not, so also look at how it looks on me. Okay, like imagine what you think this is gonna look like, okay? And then, like why does it fit me? It's so annoying. <laughs> like I don't look like a cute girl that's like wearing an oversized worker jacket. I look like I'm late to work. I've never been able to make this work, so we're gonna sell this. Okay, so that is all my dresses. Now I'm gonna put on a pair of random jeans and then try on all my shirts. So let's do that. I mean <laughs> No, I'm gonna keep this top. I feel like I wear it a lot and it's a good basic to have but I can't <laughs> If I say that to a bunch you guys have to catch me. So I'm keeping this but we'll see. <laughs> oh my god This is a no <laughs> This is a hard no No, I don't even <laughs> I don't even know the story behind this, but it's gonna be a no. I'm keeping this for one reason and one reason only. Look how long the sleeve, look how long the sleeves are. I layer this under my clothes all the time in the winter because I like having long sleeves. So this is a yes. This is just a plain black bodysuit that I haven't done up. I'm gonna keep this because it fits me and I think this is like something I would gravitate to. I bought this last year, I never wore it obviously because where did we go in 2020? But I think it's kind of cute. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this one. Hmm. Oh my God, my makeup. Oh, thank God you guys are far. Okay, I'm gonna keep this because I think it's cute for like a night out. Why am I pulling it down? Sorry. This is a no. Okay, wait, I'm trying to style it because it has really long sleeve. Me, me being like, this is me styling it. But it has really long sleeve, so I'm tempted to keep it. Cause like layered under sweaters in the winter time with the cute sleeves and the collar, I'm gonna keep it. This is the uh, classic American apparel sheer, sorry, pfft, sheer black top. And I need to keep this. It's been there for me in so many situations. So I'm gonna keep this one. No. <laughs> no. Um, you know, I need it like this. But anyways, this is gonna be a no. This is one of my favorite tops. I thought it was so cute. Maybe I, you don't wear a bra with it, but it's a bodysuit as well. 
I just tuck that in so you guys can get the vision. Whoa, is it really that low? Oh my god. I'm gonna keep this just because I loved it. Like, I loved this top. <laughs> I know that's not a good enough reason, but I just want to. Obviously, you'd wear this open, but just for the me not wearing anything underneath it. <sighs> Ew, am I supposed to tie it around the waist? Stop. No, this is a no. I really loved this top too because I like the color of it. This is a little random though. Like, it has this piece. <laughs> And you're supposed to tie it in the middle, I guess. Why do they even have? Oh my God, wait, is that cute? <laughs> little country, little country vibe. Little Superman vibe. I'm gonna keep this top because it's really comfortable and I like the color and we could work with it. This is another top that has a weird tie. Like, I don't know, whoops. Before I like tied it like that too. But I think this is cute. Again, I like the color. This would be classified for me as like a going out top. So we're gonna keep this one. I literally don't know, but in 2018, I thought this was the coolest top. Like, uh, no, <laughs> oh my God. Like this would look good if my pants came up to here, but they don't. And I don't know in anything that high rise. So I've never worn the, or I've, <laughs> I've never had the need to wear this, so I'm gonna sell this one. <laughs> this is another top I've had for a really long time, and like, it's just not really my style anymore. I used to love this top, I thought it was so cute. I love the red, and yeah, no. I like this top, I think it's really cute. Kate, how many times have I said cute? I'm gonna stop saying that, sorry. I like this top though, it's flattering. It's like a nice, if, I don't, if I'm going on a date and I have no idea what to wear, I'll wear this. Cause it's easy to take off, I'm kidding. Kidding, but it is. I'm not gonna put it on like properly, but I'm gonna keep this. It's really comfortable and I wear this all the time. Can I just say also like I'm over crop tops. Why does my stomach always have to show? I'm so over that trend. Um, I think this is cute with like blue jeans in the summer. So basic, but I'm gonna keep it. Okay, this is the 100% silk shirt that I thrifted like years ago and I've not once worn it. And it's so not my vibe. So I'm gonna sell this one because I think a lot of other people can wear something like this better than me. Okay, this shirt, I got this the year before I started high school. So 15 years ago, have I worn this in the past eight years? No. So I think it's time to get rid of it. I have no use for this. It's a, is this not a bra? No, it's a top. I'm not gonna wear it. So this is a no. This I've been hanging on to for so long. I don't know why. For some reason, I think it's cute. <laughs> I'm gonna be dead honest with you guys, I'm keeping this. I just have, I just want to, and I'm going to. This is a no, it does up, but does it? <laughs> it's so itchy though. I don't know if I could wear this. I did recently buy this and I haven't had it in the summertime yet, so I'm gonna keep this one. And if I don't wear it this season, I'm gonna get rid of it in the fall. My mom got me this shirt and I wore it in my Blair Waldorf video. It's one of my favorite things to layer because the sleeves are just amazing and they're super long and like that. So this is a yes, keeping this. Okay, I've never worn this and I don't think I ever will because it looks like this. So I'm gonna sell this one too. Bought this two years ago, never worn it because it looks like nurse's scrubs. This is a no. Um, Kind of cute, kind of not. I wore this to the Lizzo concert and had a great time in it. But now I have no use for it past the Lizzo concert, so it's gonna go. I got this like the week before Corona lockdown happened in Canada. I don't know, I'm gonna keep it just because I haven't been able to wear it yet or even try to style it, so we're gonna keep this. I don't even need to try this on. It looks like a dance costume and not in a cute way. This is going. Oh my God. This is a no. This is a no. This is also a no. It's just like, and not me. So we're, it's a no. Okay, so this is the same top as that purple one I had that I'm like, is this a bra? But I wore it backwards. So this is the front. I actually think I like it with this neck. I think I'm gonna keep it because I think it's cute like this. This is a no. It's just cheap, small, and uncomfortable. I like this top, but the zipper's broken. And it's been broken for about two years. No, I'm gonna get rid of this. If I haven't worn it for years, I'm not gonna wear it in the coming years, so. This is a really cute top. I've never worn it because I bought it in 2020 and I'm gonna keep it. This is one of those like classic peasant girl tops. I'm really confused on how I normally would wear this because my bra is all the way out. I think I'm gonna keep this because 
I don't know. <laughs> I liked it a lot in 2019 and maybe maybe I won't wear it in 2021, but but I'm still gonna keep it. <laughs> this is the bodysuit I wore in my Valentine's Day video with the little hearts on the sleeve. I'm gonna keep this. I really like this bodysuit. Another bodysuit, never worn, got it a few months ago. Basic, keeping this. Oh my gosh, I've had this for so long. I think it's time to go. You know what I might get? <laughs> Is it a mistake to keep this? It's literally just a piece of fabric and you tie it on either side. Okay, this used to be my most worn bodysuit. It's from M Boutique, but it's really old and dirty and there's holes in it. So I'm actually going to probably just repurchase this because I love it, but I'm gonna get rid of this one. Boring, no. Mm, I'm gonna keep it. It's a basic that, and the sleeves are long. We're keeping it. No. <laughs> this is the top I wore in my Tim Burton video. Like, no. No. If I wear it in a Tim Burton transformation, I'm not wearing it on the street. I've worn this one in a video too. It's a little body suit. I'm keeping this. I love it. Um, I think I just have too many things like this and this isn't comfortable. Yeah, this is a no. <laughs> See, I feel like I should really get rid of this, but I remember it being expensive. Yeah, no, I should get rid of this though. It doesn't matter that it was expensive six years ago. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this. I have to clean this one, but I love it so much. It has little ribbons as the, it has little ribbons that you tie for the straps. I think it's really cute with like your hair in a ponytail. So I'm gonna keep this. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. There's two more like blouses. Ew, blouse. Speaking of blouse, um, I don't see myself ever, ever, ever wearing this. It doesn't do anything for me. This is going away. Okay, I bought this this year, but like, I don't think I'd ever wear it. I'm, it's does up in the back. Uh, maybe I'll keep it. Just because I've never worn it yet. I've got to give it at least one shot. And the last thing I have is this that I wore in my going out video as well. I really like the thick straps because they're kind of like satin. And I think this would look cute under something like as a little peekaboo moment, but not worn as a shirt. So I'm going to keep this one too. So I'm going to keep this one too. Oh my God, guys. Day one over and look at my makeup. It's like I went, look at it. <laughs> It's like I went to work, just like dragging clothes across my face. Good morning, guys. It's day two of the closet clean out and I just woke up. I'm not gonna tell you what time it is because I'm embarrassed. Yeah, so update, I did this half of my closet. That's not for today. Today we're sitting down and we're gonna get to these drawers. Now, one of the main reasons I'm just waiting for one of these to fall one day. One of the main reasons I wanted to do this was like the thing that triggered me was <laughs> my underwear, you guys. <laughs> I don't know what life I was living in 2019, but like we're not dealing with that this in 2021. <laughs> I need to get rid of a lot. Anything that's smaller than my hand, we're getting rid of. And you guys know the hand scale. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry, maybe I need to have my whole coffee before I do this. Don't talk to me until I had my cup of gel. The one thing that I find really hard to go through and get rid of things is my pajama drawer. I am so attached to raggedy old pieces of fabric. <laughs> we need to get rid of the bulk. Because another thing that I realized, new pajamas are really nice. Like I'm in my Christmas pajamas. <laughs> yeah, so I'd love an excuse to buy myself a pair of new pajamas like, um, I'm not a millionaire, but I'd love a pair of skims. Anyways, let's go through this. I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be a savage. No. <laughs> yes, this is my favorite pajama top. <laughs> yes, this is my other favorite pajama top. Uh-oh, you see a trend? Yes, this is my other. Yes. <laughs> Everything on top is like, you know, the shit. That's that shit I do like. We've actually landed at an artifact here. This right here is my, what song is that? Pretty Boy Swag. This shirt, this was my sister's shirt from a high school basketball competition in literally 2006. And since then, oh, sorry. <laughs> Caught me lying, 2008. So I'm keeping this because it's a, this is what my kids are gonna wear to the first day of school. This is a family heirloom. I made this shirt to wear to Dean's birthday last year. My top engagement tweet, it said, Dean Hebsher Fitness said, Maxine, that's very funny. That was my top engagement tweet of 2020, of 2020. I have to keep this. Oh, 
my one of my faves a matching you guys know i love my matching sets like i want to sleep in a matching set for the rest of my life and this is an old victoria's secret one that i love i'm gonna get rid of these two i don't wear them well there we go this is my giveaway pile see like i'm attached to this res or this like rta frosh <laughs> shirt but why what am i gonna do with it nothing look how nicely everything fits you can see but okay next on the docket is socks and bathing suits and this is one that i really don't want to go through because i love my wool socks does one person need this many socks i think you know the answer elephant in the room yes these are harry styles on a sock and the back is one direction and yes, I have to keep these ones, of course. Hey guys, thought I'd come in and do a little voiceover with the montage. I know you can see the Harry Styles socks still. It's like, please, those were a gift for me and I'm never get getting rid of them. And those are another family heirloom. My kids are gonna wear that b-ball shirt and the socks to the first day of school. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that video in 30 years. Like, do I need this many ankle socks? Probably not. I think I can keep 14 ankle socks. And even that's a lot. Okay, I have my ankle socks. I have my fuzzy socks. I'm keeping two pairs. I only have two pairs. Only have two pairs of fuzzy socks. My active socks, which I'm not active ever. And then we have to get to my wool socks. Now, what do you guys know about Costco's wool socks? Because I know a lot. Okay, again, I think I can keep 14 pairs of wool socks. I think I can. So, one two uh oh we have another predicament on our hands but can you have too many pairs of root socks i don't think so i'm keeping both these i also have tights okay these are nice thick ones i'm keeping these i literally haven't worn socks since uh tights sorry since 2016 but what if something happens and i need tights what if the queen comes these i'm not gonna no oh my god no oh my god why did i even keep these Why is this actually a top that would they would sell at Fashion Nova? I mean, without the hands. Oh, these are going. These are in the trash. No one should even. Okay. The other thing is my my bathing suits are my my hunchback right now. This is like my natural state. Light them up, light them up, light them up, light them up. Now come back, now come back, now come back, now come back. I have to try these on, and I'm really dreading it because I don't want to. That almost went bad for me and my mental health. Hey guys, you miss me? I was just gone for four hours. I literally was lying in my bed in silence like this. But I did my bathing suits, I tried them all on and these are the ones we're keeping. And yes, it's a lot for no reason. <laughs> so we have the red one. This one actually is very, I like this one a lot. For some reason, these fit me real cute. They're the same ones that I tried on that I thought was too small, but they're really cute, so. And then these are kind of like other ones. I don't know, don't ask. Okay, next. Oh my God, there's no reason why I should have that much underwear. Okay, I'm gonna go through all my underwear and get rid of things that, like this, should not touch my skin. And don't worry, I'm throwing out the underwear. I'm not giving them away to anyone. Like this. No. No. <laughs> no. The 5 for 20 Lacenza really does you like this. This cheap ass. Anything with a pink tag should go. That should be my rule. I think that's pretty good actually. These are all leaving the collection because I have lots of questions for myself. So bras there's also no reason that i have this many bras you guys oh my god are you kidding me okay that's good enough for me i think these are all the bras that are leaving me a lot there actually i still have a lot but when a good bra fits you it's hard to get rid of it and i always keep all my straps from like everyone bought that one bra from licenza that was like wear like one bra eight ways why why was that a marketing scheme can i just get one bra that works well once so the easy stuff is over. I'm scared. I'm scared to pan up to show you guys what we have to tackle next. Cameraman, pan up. 
this area of the closet is like my everyday wear. I have all my t-shirts in here. I have all my jeans here and all my sweaters. And then this side is all my cozy sweaters. And this mess is all my like leisure wear. I try to hide things. Before I throw them out, I hide them. And if I miss them, I'll bring them back into my collection. And if I don't miss them, they're leaving. So let me show you guys. So this is all the clothes that I hid in 2020. And I don't know what any of it is, nor do I care. So I'm just going to take all these and put them in my giveaway pile. Oh my god. gonna take all my sweaters out too oh my god what was that look at all this stuff that was just hiding in my closet like i'm not trying this stuff on i'm just gonna go through it one at a time me again checking in on you guys hope everyone's doing a doing a good having a good day and doing good things in the world um i'm just going through old t-shirts that i've kept for a long time a lot of these are like memory and i'm gonna put them in like a memory box because i'm not gonna wear them again but they i have fun memories in them so i have a few t-shirts and other random things that i'm gonna keep but most of this stuff we're getting rid of i like this is i'm in the pr present fu tent future i'm in the present right now every day is a gift and um i all this stuff is gone from my house and i feel like i lost 300 pounds so yeah there's a happy ending in this moment when i was doing all this did i want to die did I want to give up and pretend like I never started this video? Yeah, of course. I literally stopped it like seven times being like, well, they don't know this video is happening, so I can just give up now. But uh, I'm glad I I'm glad I stuck through it because it's I it's good for my head. Oh, my God. I need to clean this up or else I'm going to have a panic attack tonight. But on a lighter note, giveaway pile. This is I'm keeping this. I realized that this was just my summer clothes that I put away instead of bringing to my storage locker. So that's fine. Summer clothes are staying nostalgic sweaters hoodies like this is what i wear every day so it's really hard for me to get rid of hoodies and these are oh sorry this is still giveaway hell yeah so it's just my summer clothes and my hoodies look at all this space in my closet now since i'm not even using that side so i'm gonna stack all my hoodies nicely in there Ta-da! okay and i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna take everything out and go through it on my floor i don't need this many t-shirts oh my god and we're back um we're getting close to the end here guys my patience is wearing thin in this moment um but yeah we're still going through t-shirts i have a lot of old band t-shirts like this blink 1821 one of the best concerts of my life i think this was 2007 we went um i'm keeping that shirt forever obviously and yeah a lot of these shirts are just like honestly being completely honest hi cassia my sister if you're watching these all of these are your shirts when you moved to australia you left me all your banties and guess what uh i don't listen to the black keys but apparently i do because i have a shirt about them and yeah so don't worry i won't get rid of your shirts but i am getting rid of my old ones like this one had a stain on it but i'm like mm, let me just keep it <laughs> anyways we're almost done how do we feel i am feeling good feeling good like i should Oh, I need to figure out how these three piles are going to fit in this drawer. And then I have shorts and pants. I need to try these pants on. <sighs> Maybe I put my tank tops in my bra drawer. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to put on all my pants and we're going to say yes or no. Yes, these are literally the only pants I wear keeping another one of my favorite pairs green corduroys also from american eagle they're seasonal but like still keeping because they're so comfy and stretchy and yes okay <laughs> i'm keeping these because they fit like they're so stretchy like there's i could squats um i just gave myself a headache doing that but we'll wear these on a one-off occasion but like i don't want to have to buy a pair of leather pants again so cargo pants Oh my gosh, they used to fit me a lot differently. They used to be like baggy and now they're not. Yeah, I'll keep these, they're, com they're comfortable. I'm too lazy to do up this button fly, but um, you guys already know I'm not leaving without my Levi's, these are staying. These are more cargo pants. I got these recently and I'm gonna keep them because I just bought them and I've never worn them yet and they're real comfy, like the whole back is stretch. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I'm like, are these the jeans I think they are? These are my baggy mom jeans. No, they're not. They're tight. Not one ounce of stretch in them. I'm actually shocked that these are the pants. Let me sit. I need to sit. 
Ooh, I don't think so. Ah! No, I'm getting rid of these. Um, they're just a little uh, tight for my liking. This is another pair of just like basic skinny jeans that I would wear all the time. Let me step back here. <laughs> no, oh my God. It's doing nothing. She's doing nothing for us, sweetie. These are a no. Zara, what's going on, man? What's going on? No stretch. They think that everyone's waist is the same size as their hips. It's not. I've held on to these for way too long. Like I bought these last year. Tag still on. That's a rap song for your mom. These are a no. Um, I'm kind of bummed that these are too small for me. There's, there's like linen pants and they're really comfortable and airy. I mean, they're not airy anymore. <laughs> they're skin tight. The dumb part of me wants to keep these. So th we're keeping these. No. Oh my God, did these fit me? I'm having all these deja vus. I'm like, are these the shorts that I lived in last summer? Yeah, they were. These are uh, obvious no. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep them just cause they're super like, for some reason they actually fit me really well <laughs> and almost like too big, but who wants tight jeans after I just took off, like peeled off pairs and I'm like, I'm keeping these. Okay, pants are in. Shorts, pants, everything's in. It's actually shocking to me how many clothes I've accumulated in my life. And, you know, a lot of these clothes I have had for over 10 years, some over 15 years. Um, and those are most of the ones I'm letting go of because I'm not 17 anymore. Thank God. Oh, my God. You don't want to live in a world where Maxine is 17 years old. No one does. Um, so I don't want the clothes to commemorate it by just making room for some new staple pieces. I mentioned this in, a, in the video, but I cut it out a bunch because this video is long enough already. But my goal is to have like a capsule wardrobe. I want like five, I don't know what a capsule wardrobe is. These are, these are all the sweaters I wear like daily or like cardigans or whatever. So I'm gonna keep them closer to everything else that I can reach. These are different ones. And then up there I put winter sweaters that I'm not gonna wear for the rest of the year. But I realized that I hid some more sweaters on this side. So, you know, it's just annoying. Who do I think I could fool myself? It's not working. And while we're at it, we're doing the active wear because God knows how much I don't wear active wear. Okay, back to the capsule wardrobe thing. I do know what it is, but I would need to look up like a chart. But it's basically the idea of it is that you have like a few good quality pieces and you're able to interchange them with everything else in your closet. So you have like a bajillion outfits from just a few pieces. So that's what I'm trying to get after. <laughs> it's going to take a few closet cleanouts to get there, but that's what I want. Okay, this is my goal. I want. Yeah, that's lucky for you. That's what I want. I don't. Bye. Okay, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, which is this. <laughs> Everything else is done, guys. I've decided <laughs> that <laughs> I've, I've made the executive decision that these are staying. <laughs> and because I'm too lazy to go through my clothes, I should go through my belts too. When? Have I ever worn any of these? You never know what trend, <laughs> you never know what trend's gonna come back. And they just fit so nicely there. Okay, I need to get rid of some shoes, you guys. Like, I'm never gonna wear these. I've never worn these and I never will. I've had these for maybe 10 years. They're really cute, right? Who, my, I'd be six foot seven. No, no. The Yardeen studs, no. These, I don't think I'd wear again. No, they're a bit too, bit too country for me. <laughs> These I'll never wear again. Goodbye. You know what? I think that's it. I think that's it. This pile of clothing. Look at all this crap. And it's like my closet is still so full. There's so much stuff in it still. So what even was this? Thank you guys for watching me clean up my closet. I hope I inspired you guys to get rid of things you don't need. And like, I think it's really easy to be like, I have nothing to wear when you have this much stuff. 
because yeah, you have nothing to wear because you don't like 90% of it. Now when I look in the closet, I have a lot more to wear because it's I'm only focused on the things that I actually wear, you know. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye! She knows Billy Joel!